Hi, it's Caitlin from Caitlin Swatches, and I'm here today with a very beautiful collection of polishes from Wildflower Lacquer. Today I have swatches of the sophisticated 2.0 collection. This is a 2.0 re-release kind of situation of the sophisticated collection that came out in spring 2020. There will be a limited run, so these polishes will not be around for very long. There's going to be 150 bottles of each polish available and then 100 sets of the six polishes. So once these sell out, they're sold out and I don't think Taylor's planning to bring them back again. So if you miss them in 2020, don't miss them in 2021. The polishes will launch at noon central time on December 17th on the Wildflower Lacquer website. And I also have the December Hella Handmade Creation Polish at the end of this video. So if you're curious to see that one, stick it out till the end or just skip to the end if you just want to see that. And that polish will be available on the HHC website from December 14th through the 21st until it sells out. It is capped and... The Wildflower Lacquer polishes tend to sell out like pretty fast, so you definitely want to be there when the shop opens on December 14th. Before we get into the nail polish, I will nicely ask that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, like this video, and follow me on Instagram. I have my social media linked down in the description, and I also have all the other details that you might need to know down there. So check it out, and let's get into the nail polish. So I thought I'd start off with the shimmer in the collection. This one is Fish Upon a Star 2.0 and it is described as a shimmery base that shifts from red to gold to green with scattered hollow flakes. So <laughs> I feel like silly saying it but this is definitely falling in the category of a ghostly polish. I think it is so beautiful. I absolutely love how this polish looks. I think it might be my favorite yet of all the ghostly polishes that Taylor has released. It has an incredible formula. Personally, I took it up to just two coats and I think it looks beautiful with a little bit of my nail line showing. You could definitely wear it over one of those blurring base coats if you felt like it, but I think it's perfection this way on me at least. You can also see when I move my nails how it kind of disappears from my nail, but the hollow remains. And here you can see that green gold shift. It's a little peachy at times. It's a little bit more red at times. It really truly is magical. And I'm a huge, huge fan of Fish Upon a Star. So I wanted to make sure you saw just how beautiful this is. So it's an extended clip. Next up we have dark side of the moon rise and this one is described as a magenta jelly base packed with red to gold to green crystal flakes and scattered hollow flakes so this is very much like all of the other koi type polishes that taylor creates this one has a really beautiful vibrant base color it's a bright hot pink almost i mean it's magenta but it could also sort of fall in that deep in hot pink category. This is color accurate, the video as you're seeing it here. I won't be a broken record, but all of the formulas in this collection built up beautifully in two coats. I believe they're all two coaters and they smooth with top coat. The formula itself is incredible. There's no running or pulling of the flakes. Everything lays flat and just is so beautiful. It's so, it just makes me happy when I apply any of these polishes from Wildflower Lacquer. So here you can see just how shifty the flakes are. They really glow in lower lighting. I love when you get that orangey green shift to the flakes. I'm just obsessed. And this color in particular is really quite special. The next one we have is She's My Nemosis. And this one is described as a deep orange jelly base packed with red to gold to green crystal flakes and scattered hollow flakes. So, wow, this orange is so fiery. It's so beautiful. Um, I, I did not experience any staining with any of these, but I didn't wear them for a super long time. So you definitely want to wear base coat. I would say on this color in particular, you might want to double up just to be safe, but... 
everybody's different when it comes to their nails and how porous or not porous they are. But anyway, you can see how incredibly beautiful this beautiful this is. The flakes are really complementing this base in particular just because of that orangey gold shift. Like, oh my goodness, this this moment right here is like <laughs> so good. It's just so beautiful. And it really looks like this in real life. I mean, I'm not going to toot my own horn, but actually I'm going to toot my own horn because my videos do really capture the beauty of these polishes and this is not blown out of proportion. They are really that beautiful. Here we have Any Fin Is Possible and this one is the deep emerald green jelly based version of the polish in the collection. This one is just so fun because the green is that like to me it's kind of just like a primary green which is one of my favorite types of green and again with the flakes in those like orangey and greeny shifts it really complements the base and everything just works so beautifully together so this one I actually did three coats I did two for pretty much all the other ones but um, for whatever reason this one I needed three coats on I would also recommend a good base coat for this one. Like I said, I didn't experience any staining, but you never know. So here it is in three coats plus top coat. It's just so shifty and beautiful and such a good formula. I think this set of the Koi polishes, I mean, it makes sense. It is the original re-release 2.0 version of the original. So they really are like those primary vibrant gorgeous colors so if you haven't tried any of these polishes from wildflower lacquer yet then i think now is your time because these are just so classic and beautiful and i really am obsessed with them so you can see here the shift and the green shift looks so good with that base all right now we have the blue in the collection this one's an ultramarine blue and it's of course packed with red to gold to green crystal flakes and scattered hollow flakes this one is called Panic at the Discus, and um, yeah, another really good formula. And I think it's so interesting how, depending on the base, like you're seeing different elements of the flakes come to play. In this one, you're really sort of getting that pinky red look to the flakes, which I think obviously looks incredible with the blue. So this one, I only needed two coats and... As you can see, it dries with just a tiny bit of texture from the flakes, but it's not difficult to remove. And one layer of top coat smooths it out completely, pretty much any top coat. But I always recommend something like Glisten and Glow top coat. That's usually what I'm using or the Under Hula Moon Wiki Wiki Quick Dry Top Coat. I think that's what I used in this video. And yeah. As you can see here, it's so beautiful and shifty and amazing. And this shade of blue is like my favorite kind of blue. There's something about it that is just really classic, but also bold. So I highly recommend this one because I think the flakes really, their multicoloredness shows up well in this base. And last but not least in the sophisticated collection 2.0 we have damsel in distress and this one is a deep violet jelly base packed with red to gold to green crystal flakes and scattered hollow flakes i really really also love this particular shade of purple i am very picky when it comes to my purples especially like medium medium tone purples um i'm very picky and this one is like perfect just perfect so I did do three coats for this one just as I did three coats for the green one but all the other ones were two coaters and the flakes again you really see that pinky red shift come to play and it's just amazing so I think at this point you know how I feel about all of these polishes but here it is in three coats with top coat an amazing formula and when you get it under different lighting, you really do see all of the shifts in the flakes and I think it looks so good. So I will just let you enjoy this until a few seconds from now when we will look at the HHC December polish.
And here's something that's not part of the collection. It's also not available on the Wildflower Lacquer website. You will have to buy it from the Hella Handmade Creation Shop, which I will have linked in the description. But this is called Painting the Roses Red, and it will be limited on the HHC website. It will be available only in December. It's part of the Alice in Wonderland series that Taylor, I believe, is concluding. This is the last polish in that series. It's a deep red base that is packed with holographic flakes. It might stain, and it did stain my nails a little bit when I had them on, so definitely double up on your base coat with this one, but it's so worth it. Just look how beautiful this is. Honestly, I've never seen anything so vibrant, so bold, so sparkly. It's incredible. The hollow in this one is like mind-blowing, so I've showed it off in quite a few ways, as you will see but there are only 300 bottles available and it will probably sell out in the first few hours of the sale. So here it is outside in the sunlight. You can see how red and juicy it is. And here it is in my lighting and it's also red and juicy. It's just so saturated, so beautiful, so holographic and I'm so in love with it. If you're able to, I mean, I would suggest getting all of these polishes because they're amazing, especially if you love the Koi finish with the flakes and the jelly bases. These are incredible. And if I had to pick my favorites, you know I'm gonna say Fish Upon a Star because I'm all about that ghostly polish with the beautiful shimmer. It's got like a rainbow of colors in it. I think it's amazing. I'm also gonna say that um, she's my Nemosis is like beautiful. That orange is so vibrant and fiery. I absolutely love it. And I also really like Panic at the Discus because of that ultramarine blue base. I think it's just a beautiful shade of blue and it works really well with the flakes. So let me know in the comments if you're planning on picking up any of these polishes or maybe you're going to try to get the entire set, which would be a great idea if you can. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments and... Hopefully I will see you in my next video. Hopefully you're having a great day wherever you are. And yeah, that's it for me for now. Bye.